Well, good afternoon, dear colleagues, dear friends. Uh, we are going to begin this uh, lunch symposium sponsored by SAOTE. On behalf of the European Society of Skeletal Radiology, I would be very grateful for this company, SAOTE, is uh, with a large history of sponsoring the ESSR. They have been always uh, in the back of our society and their help and their profits are very, very important for the developing and for the, all the issues that we have planned in this Congress. So thank you very much for the SAOTE crew for giving us the opportunity to have this excellent group of lecturers that we have today. Unfortunately, Dr. Alejandro Rolón from Argentina uh, couldn't come, he couldn't arrive to Marbella. So what we are, instead of uh, replacing his talk, what we're going to do is a little bit length the other talks. But I hope that you are going to enjoy very much. So the first speaker is uh, Dr. Maribel Miquel. She's from Barcelona, Spain. She has been working um, for many time with uh, uh, Professor Martinoli and she will talk about the imaging-oriented anatomy of the hamstrings, tendons, and muscles. So, Maribel, when you want to begin, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, before the, um, to, begin in the, to begin the presentation, I would like to thank to Dr. Martinoli, Dr. Padron, and, of course, the SAOTA group, the possibility to be here to explain the hamstring and this lecture. Uh, yesterday, one speaker talked uh, about, uh, said that uh, Spanish is a, Spanish is a good language, a nice language, and I would like to explain in Spanish, but I have to do in English then. Uh, I hope that you follow my English uh, and you can understand all the things. You know the hamstring, uh, a, a group, a muscular group that is formed by the biceps femoral, the semitendinosus and semimembranosus muscles, and all of them uh, have uh, this origin in the ischial tuberosity. There are uh, important group muscular, but uh, the special importance, one of the reasons of, the, the, of it is important, is uh, they are with the issues for anterior cruciate ligament, the cost of the knee, but perhaps the more important uh, of these muscles are um, that they are the most injured muscles in several sports and in the general uh, population also. They mutantinous strains are more frequent than avulsion injuries. And a lot of um, authors explain the, these injuries, and some of them explain that the reason will be the anatomy, the special anatomy of these muscles. Well, for this reason, we want to explain the, these muscles in the, in the superior part, in the middle part, and the inferior part in the insertion of this muscle, and his, uh, the main relation of these muscles. We begin with the origin um, of these muscles, and for this, we have to dissect the, or, and to see all the gluteus major muscles because they cover all the ischial tuberosity. For this reason, we have to remove these, mus these muscles in the two sides, and then we can see the ischial tuberosity with the origin of the, these uh, special muscles. Uh, here in this picture, we can see the sacrotuberosus ligament, the ischial tuberosity, and the origin in the lateral part of the uh, long head of the biceps femoris and the semitendinosus in the medial part. In this uh, part, the, in the lateral part, we, so we see also the gluteus medius and gluteus minor and the piriformes and the other rota lateral rotators of the hip. You, we can um, show you that uh, the gluteus major is covered by a fascial, the gluteal, gluteal fascia, and this fascia follows in the tie with the, with the lata fascia that we know. But this fascia that covers all the muscular, all the um, muscles of the tie also gives a, a special wall that separates the lateral muscles and the medial muscles of the posterior muscles of the tie. And in this case, uh, for this reason, when we have uh, a special injury in the origin of these muscles and the hematoma goes down, we can see a special uh, shape in the lateral and the medial part of the posterior tie because they are separated by uh, an extension of the, this fascia that covers these muscles in the posterior area. 
In these pictures, we can see the gluteus major cover all the, the ischial tuberosity, and we can see the origin of the sum of the, this uh, hamstring muscle. Here in a sagittal cut, we see the more superficial belongs to the long head of the biceps, and the more deep uh, tendon belongs to the semimembranous that we will see after. Uh, also, we can see in this transversal cut with, uh, how these muscles are covered by the fibers of this gluteus major muscle. In this uh, transversal cut, we, uh, we see the origin in the, in the more superior origin of these uh, muscles. Uh, they have, there is a very special line, and here we can see more, um, with more detail, and they are covered by this gluteus major. And we have to remarque the presence of the sacrotuberosus ligament because this ligament uh, belongs to the gluteus major uh, that some fibers of this muscle origin in it, but also this uh, sacrotuberosus ligament insert in the ischial tuberosity, in the upper part of the ischial tuberosity. It gives to, to expansion, the medial expansion of the, of the ligament and the lateral expansion of the ligament. But this lateral expansion of this ligament, we see how, when we remove and we dissect better, how follows the origin or with the origin of the long head of the biceps. Several authors explain also this, but we can see how these fibers continues with the origin of this uh, long head of the vicious families. It can explain, that, as uh, Dr. Martinoli said me, that some uh, injuries of the, this part of the hamstrings could be some uh, um, lesions or some pain in the superior area of this, uh, of this area. In this ultrasound uh, picture, we can see the gluteus major. It's a, long a longitudinal vision. The gluteus major, the origin, that this, is the, this will be the ligament. And we can see how the ligament follows uh, with the uh, long, uh, long head of the pieces femoris and how cover these most superficial fibers of this uh, tendon. In the more deeper area, we can see the semimembranosus tendon origin. Also, uh, it's possible to see in the, this area, the longitudinal uh, cover, the ligament, sorry, cover this longitud longitudinal head of the biceps femoris muscle. If we go down in the, in the cuts, we can see the very close relation that has the, um, the long head of the biceps femoris and the semimembranosus muscle. Really, these muscles um, origin together and very close um, of um, two of them. And we can see here how there is not uh, any possibility to cut or to separate these two, two tendons. When we go down, we can observe the origin, the, the, um, the superior fibers of the semitendinosus muscles that origin down of the, the first, the, of the long head and of the biceps femoris and semimembranosus. We can resolve or we can describe uh, that how this, uh, long, this semimembranosus has a round shape in the origin, but th this round shape varies when it goes down in, the, uh, in his way. In this picture, we can see also the, the semitendinosus fibrous muscles at very close, with a very close relation with the tendon of the long head of the biceps femoris, and how the semimembranosus that has a lateral position goes to the medial position to look for the inferior uh, um, phase of the semitendinosus. Always the semitendinosus is above the semimembranosus muscles. Here we can we have an, any muscular of the fibrous muscles of the gluteus major, and then we begin the more superior area of the posterior uh, area of the thigh. Here we can see the relation and how the semimembranosus goes under the semitendinosus muscle. We go down and we can see the very classical shape of the semimembranosus uh, tendon. 
uh, the comma shape that uh, goes and follows and allows to identify, identify uh, in the MRI and ultrasound uh, exams, and how the muscular, the semitendinosus muscular goes uh, or has a, um, a relation with the semitendinous, with the long head of the vitreous femoris. And also, we can see here with more detail the origin of the aponeurosis or the classical aponeurosis of the semitendinosus muscles. Here we can see this relation and the, the shape of the classical shape of the semimembranosus. Uh, also, we can observe here the sciatic nerve that is in a deep position uh, just always under the uh, biceps, long head of the biceps femoris. In this, in this cut, we can observe how the semimembranosus has uh, all, um, well, um, all the, the same shape of the, of the coma shape and how the aponeurosis uh, grow up and goes under the semitendinosus muscles. This is the semitendinosus muscles, the biceps, the origin of the muscular fibers of the long head of the biceps, and here is the aponeurosis that join the two muscles, the more superficial muscles of the hamstring's origin. In this longitudinal uh, vision, we can see the cut, uh, we remove the gluteus major, as we explained um, before, and we can see the, the ischial tuberosity and how the semitendinosus muscles origin after the, uh, the long head of the biceps tendon of the um, biceps femoris, and how this tendon is very long, it's very, um, it has about 10 centimeters, and then, when, um, then after the origin, the, the muscular fibers. Also, we can see here how the semimembranosus goes to the lateral position, to the medial position, and we have to remove the semitendinosus in order to, to, to see it. Well, if you make a special exam of the more high part of, the, of this area, we can see here the sciatic nerve. It's a very good uh, landmark. And also we can see here the gluteus major and the, the long head of the biceps tendon, the semimembranosus, and how the semimembranosus goes to the medial part for to looking for the uh, semitendinosus muscles uh, um, uh, posterior. In this uh, MRI, we can see also in the more uh, superior part, we can see the, the, the large and common, common sh shape of the semimembranosus and how this uh, semimembranosus grows and goes in, in the more deeper position under the semitendinosus. Also, we can see, observe here the aponeurosis that, go, that is, uh, belongs to the semitendinosus and the, sorry, and the uh, tendon, the uh, aponeurotic tendon that join the long head of the biceps and semitendinosus muscles, always in relation with the sciatic nerve.